trust that the individual that whether you're checking their emails or you're checking their phone calls or any of that kind of stuff they have a responsibility to be 100% certain you're secure so if you're not secure and they don't want you to follow that line of security which is the most important line of security that there is to prove then you're probably not in a very good relationship to begin with so these are things to keep in mind these are things to keep in mind. You can be the type of individual that is 100% secure if you like to. But when it comes to questionability and not knowing, these are excellent factors to, to go by. The, your loved one, be it your loved one, should in no way, shape, or form feel like you're overstepping your boundaries or their boundaries of privacy reason I say that is that the issue of privacy is relinquished unless you're taking a shit or you're in the bathroom naked when you are in an attached relationship those boundaries of privacy don't exist when you've been in the bed with someone naked so keep that in mind people some things not to actually look for when a gift is given, when someone gives you a gift or a surprise, someone surprises you, don't automatically look for a gift to mean something negative. Don't let that be your paranoid point. Romance, don't let romance, something that someone's doing romance be your paranoid point. They really may be trying to communicate with you by that gift or by that romance. And if that is the case, you may be you may want to be a little accepting of the situation. Whatever the situation may be. But you have to understand what the situation is. You have to understand what the issue is. Don't allow someone to trample all over your heart and your soul with a gift or trying to romance you. But keep those things in mind as a way of communication, a gift, a romance. These are ways of communicating. Some things that you do need to look out for are dates. The person isn't on time. Not once, not twice, but four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times out of the time. You know that there's an issue. When a person is not punctual, this is when a person is telling you that they want someone. Normally they latch on, they communicate well, and most importantly, they want to please you. And vice versa. It's not one pleases the other. It's not you know, of course there's going to be two different standpoints, man versus woman. But continuously in a relationship, you need to be pleasing each other. Some other things you're going to want to look out for is a person doesn't care. If a person doesn't care an awful lot what you're doing, you're leaving, you know, you're doing this, they don't care about your schedule, that's another sign. And look out for those people that are waiting for you to leave. <laughs> Sometimes I try to come back in. Don't tell them the exact time. Because, you know, those are good ways of finding out certain things. You don't tell them the exact time. You leave and you come back. You want to be trustworthy. You want to, you don't want to be paranoid. You definitely do not want to be paranoid. But you do want to get your points across. And also keep in mind when you are checking these types of things and you are wrong, you're probably going to be owing somebody an apology. But that person should actually be understanding. Because this is a serious situation. Cheating. Lying. First of all, lying in my mind, should be considered harassment. Cheating, 
should be considered a threat. Now, when you're in a relationship that's open, you're actually not cheating because two people have an understanding. And that understanding can come from your thinking. That understanding can come from your, your ability to communicate physically. And when I say physically, I'm talking about with material items around you and mental communication. Three ways to communicate, wonderful ways to communicate. However you communicate to your, the individual that you're with or the individuals that you're with, that communication does need to be there. Walking around the face of the earth fooling somebody all the time does not work. It's dangerous to your soul. It creates shorter life and it doesn't allow people to progress. You are taking a major hit to the cause of issues for other people to be cheating and lying. So keep these things in mind. I'll be looking forward to your comments and any other signs that you can think of. Go ahead and hit me up on YouTube. I'll look forward to hearing from you. Again, this is Prentice from Cypher Productions Incorporated.